Hey everyone, this is Josh with VSpot Vapes, and today we're going to be talking about the Nautilus Mini by Aspire. All right, so the Nautilus Mini by Aspire. It's a great clearomizer. Uh, it utilizes the new BVC, the bottom vertical coil technology that's also in the regular Nautilus. It's just a little smaller than the Nautilus, so you're gonna have less capacity. But that's okay because you can have the ability to kind of have like an on-the-go device that's gonna easily fit in your pocket and it's not going to um, you know, hit you in the thigh or something like that as you're sitting down. But I've been searching for like the ultimate, what I call pocket carry. And so far I've been using the Nautilus Mini on this E-Leaf eye stick and it's awesome. Uh, the E-Leaf eye stick delivers plenty of power. I, I generally run this at around uh, 10 and a half to 11 and a half watts. Um, as you can see, I also have the MVP behind me which is another device that I've utilized. And the uh, Nautilus Mini also comes with the Ego threaded ring so that if you're going to use the MVP, you can put that on and then put your you know, uh, clear miser in, which utilizes the 510 connection so that you have that kind of seamless uh, uh, transition from the, from the mod up to the clear miser or the base. This, uh, this pack comes with two coils, 1.8 ohm coils, also comes with an ego, you know, the ego cone, um, as well as you know the clear miser with the with a BVC coil installed already. It comes with a stainless steel uh, construction of the 510 drip tip, along with the two mil capacity uh, Pyrex glass tank, and I have had zero leaking issues with this, and it's it's been a great 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 vape has four different holes for airflow control so you can adjust the flavor the warmth uh, as well as your vapor uh, obviously the more you open it up the more airflow that comes in that fuels the coil to get hotter you, know, you can create a warmer vape and get more vapor production maybe you like a cooler draw you can go down step it down to one of the smaller airflow holes uh, and it has a tactile knurling ring and we'll go get, get on a close-up here and just kind of go over the package contents first let me go ahead and take a vape So decent vapor production, it's not gonna be blowing huge clouds, but that's not what this thing's intended for. Matter of fact, I actually kind of utilize this at the office, so I don't generally wanna blow huge clouds all day. I just wanna be able to get my nick fix, right? Um, and I'm running this right now at actually 11 and a half watts. So that's the kind of vapor you saw with, with the airflow hole on the widest setting. And it might seem a little tight at first if you're coming off of like say the, the standard Nautilus, um, but you know, it definitely doesn't lack in flavor or vapor production. And, uh, you know, I, I've just, I've really, really, really been enjoying this. It's been my go-to on the go vape. I mean, this thing is with me everywhere I go. And then I oft, oftentimes will carry a larger box mod with an RDA or a bigger clearomizer for like in the car or something. But this is, you know, this is something that I take on the go uh, just because of the size. The battery lasts for quite a long time and this eye stick with this clearomizer. So again, this runs in, running at 1.8 ohm coils. You get an extra coil that comes with it. But uh, what, what we'll do is we'll go in for a closer look and uh, just kind of go over the contents of the box and the construction and design of the uh, clearomizer itself. I actually have uh, cherry cola in there, so it's a kind of a clear liquid, so it's kind of hard to see where the, where it is in the lines, but it does have indicators for the level of your e-juice on here, uh, up to two milliliters. I'll go ahead and show you the airflow controls. Right now it's on the widest setting, and you know if you go to the right, well, I'm screwing it there. So start on the right, you can hear it kind of click as I turn it, so that'd be your smallest hole, second largest hole, third largest and then pretty much the, the widest hole there um, and I like running it at the widest uh, airflow control valve hole there because I just I like a little bit more flavor a little warmer vape and as much vapor production as is you know it will give me uh, just for that satisfaction you can see it has some knurling up at the top this does have a threaded pyrex glass tank at the top so you do kind of have to be careful on both accounts we'll go ahead and open up the package so you can kind of see it here this is the box that it comes in you know the package contents you have the you know Nautilus mini tank, the BVC, the Ego, 
uh, you know, threaded cone, and as well as a user's manual. So kind of open it up like that, and you get you know a nice little user's manual, um, which are. Again, these are things that are pretty entertaining to read. <laughs> um, inside the box, you have your ego cone here. So if you want to put this on your MVP, uh, you can screw it down. Or any other device that you know utilizes the ego threading, you can screw that down. Uh, so that way, when you screw this into the 510 connection, it looks a little, a little more natural. Um, of course, it's a 510 uh, connection, uh, and uh, it's all you know stainless steel so we'll go ahead as well as another bvc vertical coil that comes in the box uh, as well and these these uh, bottom vertical coils are designed to last a long time while delivering you know a lot of quality vapor and flavor uh, on this particular unit here this uh, mini i think i've been running it now for i'd say three to four weeks on a daily use and have yet to replace the the coil and it's still delivering plenty of flavor i'm not getting any dry hits or anything uh, so really impressed with the longevity of the coil. So we're we'll going to take the 510 connector out. It comes with this kind of curved design stainless steel drip tip. You can see the diameter there and it tapers a little bit to the bottom, but it's a pretty decent, decent sized bore there. And then when you, when you fill this, what you do is you just kind of grab the bottom of this and you just twist it. And it's basically unscrewing from the center post. So go ahead and unscrew it. You can see it come out there and it has this uh, like a silicone uh, squishy, uh, um, uh, I guess, seal here that when you, when you screw it in, it actually makes it tighter, which creates the seal at the bottom. Now, when you screw these in, you don't want to over screw them. You don't over tighten them because you can crack the glass. So what I usually do is I just crank it down right to where it starts giving me a little resistance and a little bit more and then I'm done. It's good. Um, so we'll go ahead and take that back out. There you go. So when you fill it, uh, here's a view from the from the bottom looking up. You're just going to put your bottle edge in the side and fill up the tank till it, you know gets right up to about here. And you obviously don't want it to go overflow and drip down on your hand. But we'll go ahead and unscrew the top here, so you can kind of see all the pieces. This is the Pyrex glass with the threaded at the, uh, at the top. So I always just be careful about screwing this back in. You don't want it too tight. Kind of just snug and then I would fill my juice up the side, you know, and screw it back together. So, there we go. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the box contents and a little close up of this Nautilus Mini by Aspire. So I just wanted to show you my hand, which, you know, I have probably medium to large hands, um, but you can kind of see how this setup right here fits in my hand. This is with the uh, E-Leaf eye stick. Um, it's a great setup and I just really, really enjoy this configuration. Um, kind of talking about my, my, uh, you know, ninja carry or you know, I don't know what you want to call it. It's basically my discrete carry where I'm not, you know, using like a, uh, you know, uh, some, some sort of spinner battery, a vision spinner or something. I kind of like something that has a little bit more, um, power and de delivers a consistent uh, flavor through my vaping and this has been working out really well for me um, and uh, you know we sell both of these on our website at vspotvapes.com so if you want this kind of a setup you know you can just pop on over and uh, pick yourself up the, the Nautilus Mini here and the uh, e-leaf eye stick the e-leaf eye stick that we sell does come as a kit so you get the battery charger um, and uh, also, it comes with its own uh, ego cone as well. We'll go ahead and zoom back out and do a little vape and uh, carry on. Pretty nice outside today. I figured I'd go ahead and do a video from outside while it's uh, still warm enough to do so because it will probably start getting kind of cold. <laughs> In any case, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, the Nautilus Mini, it's been a popular device along with the Nautilus on the market now for quite a while. Of course, the Atlantis just came out. Um, I've been using that as well. We have those online if you're interested in buying them. But, um, you know, go ahead and pop on over to vspotvapes.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all uh, Vspot Vapes. And, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of leaking out some coupon codes from time to time on some of these devices. So if uh, you're interested, uh, check it out. So until then, thanks for hanging out. This is Josh with Vspot Vapes, and uh, vape on. Ooh.